rushing out the door right now, but I just made this smoothie. It's my favorite smoothie ever. It's blueberries, oat milk, but you can use any milk you like, um, sunflower seed butter, and banana. See you later. Hello again. It's been a few, sorry. <laughs> I just got caught vlogging. Um, <laughs> awkward. Hello again. It's a few hours later now and I stopped to get some boba because it's really hot outside and I was craving it really badly. So Here it is. Got the same thing as always. Taro boba with oat milk. Wait, I don't think there's any boba in this. Okay, problem solved. Got the boba now. All is good. I'm having a seaweed snack. My friend Madeline is filming me because we went to Whole Foods and we're gonna have a really late lunch, so now we're just snacking. Is it just me or do these get caught in your teeth? <laughs> I cannot look cute when I'm eating, I'm sorry. Okay, I am back home now from my adventure this morning. And now that I've been snacking all morning, I'm ready for some real food in my stomach. So I'm gonna make a sandwich, because everybody loves a good sandwich. And sometimes I just get really strangely into sandwiches, I don't know why. Some weeks I really crave them, some weeks I don't really care, but this is one of those weeks where I'm kind of craving a good sandwich, so I'll show you what I put on it. I know this bread looks really interesting, but it is squaw bread, actually, and I have never bought it before, but it looked really delicious, so that's what I'm going to use for my sandwich. It's in the toaster right now. So on my sandwich, I'm going to be putting some veganaise, mustard, these tofurkey slices that are so delicious, and this how ooh. This follow your heart provolone cheese. This cheese is made out of filtered water, coconut oil, potato, and cornstarch. And I'm also adding an avocado and some greens. sandwich is the spices. Spices are truly the key to making everything taste good. My favorites are always nutritional yeast, salt and pepper. I like the everyday seasoning blend from Trader Joe's and I also love using the everything but the bagel seasoning which is probably what I'm gonna use right now. Here's my lunch. I just added a little salad on the side so I get some extra greens and I put some miso ginger dressing on it that I'm trying for the first time. Let's see if I can attempt to close this sandwich. Ta -da! If you're just starting out on your vegan journey, I know sometimes it can feel really overwhelming and you might be having a hard time coming up with ideas for meals. I know how it feels. I was definitely there before. But yeah, I'm hoping this video will hopefully inspire you because I feel like everything I'm eating today is pretty easy and basic to make. Um, my smoothie I had for breakfast is really simple and doesn't require a lot of cleanup because you only have to use a blender and for me I just put soap and water in my blender and blend that to clean it. So yeah, it's pretty easy and the sandwich is super easy to make and sandwiches are always a great go-to if you can't think of anything to make and maybe you're not in the mood for making a salad or you're kind of tired of eating salads, then switch it up to a sandwich and get yourself some tofurkey slices because they are delicious. We have made it to one of my very favorite parts of the day, dinner time. For dinner tonight, I am making just a really basic pasta. I'm using this bonza pasta, which I love. It's made out of chickpeas 
and it's a really great way to get some of your protein. It has 23 grams of protein per 3.5 ounce serving, so that is pretty amazing. And I've had a lot of gluten-free pastas or other pastas made out of beans that I don't like as much, and Bonza has definitely stepped it up and been my favorite one. It's the one that tastes the most real and doesn't make you feel like you're eating cardboard. To my pasta, I'm just adding sun-dried tomatoes, spinach, and some broccoli. I added in the spinach, the broccoli, and the sun-dried tomatoes with some olive oil and I'm going to throw in some salt and let it simmer till everything cooks down. Also a very important ingredient, got to add some lemon juice. my dinner. I topped it all with some nutritional yeast of course and some black pepper. Now I'm excited to eat it and this is probably going to be the last thing I eat today because it's pretty late now. But yeah as always thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. I hope you liked this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Hank wanted to say bye too. Say bye!